Exactly. And now to the Houston area where floodwaters are starting to recede and the people are beginning to clean up after the deadly storm. News for San Antonio's Emily Bauckham tonight is live in a neighborhood near the Galleria with a look at the damage left behind there. Emily. Randy, check out this pile. This is just what one family was able to take out of a house. We've seen so many piles like this all over Houston. Everything from sheetrock, carpeting, even furniture. We're in my parents' house. They moved here about four and a half years ago. Rena Joji thought the home would flood, but she never imagined the damage six inches of water would cause. The thing is, is until you come in and you see what it is, it doesn't sound that bad unless you've been through it before. Unfortunately, some people just down the street have flooded three times, so they knew what to expect. No one can carry the load alone. Down the street, disaster recovery crews at one house, family members helping at another. And at the pile. At the Joshi home, they're ripping out carpet, drywall. You now, unfortunately, some photos and stuff got ruined. The sisters packing up valuables, washing debris away. It's overwhelming, but so is what Rena's learned. I've lived in Houston my entire life. I was born here and I knew that there were tons of good people, but just that this city is full of amazing people. It probably will bring tears to my eyes right now, but there have just been, I mean, when I think about people driving from other states to come rescue people on boats, this is a strong city. And so begins now the endless stream of paperwork. FEMA insurance for those lucky enough to have flood insurance and also finding a new, a new place to live. It's estimated that thousands of people will now have to find new homes because of this deadly storm. Reporting live, Emily Balkum, News 4, San Antonio.